That's awesome. They're so slick. Eighteen feet. We'll throw a tip up here. Got it out already. Nice. Perfect eater. Perfect one for dinner. Nice job. Yeah, they're coming in at about thirty feet and taking a look. Finally, this one took it. Yeah, like the one on the tip up, kind of uh, just finicky hit it and then quit it right away. Okay. Oh, that's a perfect eater. Nice. Well, we're on the board. We got dinner tonight. Yep, that'll do. Oh, just over with Charlie. He caught that one. Oh, that's what we like to see. Spin in. Still got him? Yep. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a nicer nice one. one. Yeah. Cool. All right, everybody's on the board. That didn't take too long. No, it didn't. Hey everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video today. We uh I've been out here for about an hour now. I'm actually still working on getting the tent set up, all that fun stuff. But Charlie caught that nice lake trout. He's back at camp, his camp, which is just around that point. If you can see the, the blue right there, that's, that's his fish house. And I am set up right in front of this nice drop off right here. So what I have going on here is I'm in 18 feet of water with this tip up. Unfortunately, this lake trout swallowed the hook and we are gonna have that one for dinner tomorrow night. So I guess we got the meals figured out for the next couple days, which isn't a bad thing. And I popped a hole just out here and we are in 35 feet of water. So it's not a super steep drop off, but it's, it's not terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting everything set up here. Oh, we got a little peat smoke coming back. What's up, bud? Yeah, you're happy. Good boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get everything set up here. We are camping in what I consider one of the most beautiful areas um, anywhere close to where I live anyway. We're in Northwest Ontario on this trip and it's kind of characterized by a lot of exposed rock these lakes are um, lake trout lakes. They call them oligotrophic lakes. Basically, they're deep, they're clear. Lake trout roam through them. And the nice thing is we have this place to ourselves for the next couple days. All right, well, the tent is all set up. What I did this time, a little bit different than normal, is put this reflective like emergency blanket underneath. And the idea is uh, just to retain a little bit more heat. Sometimes when I'm sitting there kneeling, I can feel the, the ice on my, on my knees or whatever. And it's kind of chilly. So what we're going to do now is pop, I don't know two or three maybe four holes make it crazy here and uh so this i'll be able to kick back relax and hopefully catch trout right from my bed <laughs> another nice one good yeah, eater one Are you marking a lot still? Uh, not really. 
this one just came in and looked at it a few times and finally hit it. Get Pete, get Pete, out of Pete, get away from that hook. They're all fat. They are healthy, healthy looking fish. All right, well, it's getting a little late in the day. But we're gonna go ahead and fire up the hummingbird. Drop the old tube jig down there and see if we can hook into one. What do you think, Isla? Yeah, you're tuckered out. You're a good girl. Real good girl. Well, the sun has set and the night has closed in on us. I spent the last hour or so getting everything organized here in the tent and my backpack and, and all that gear packed up for tomorrow's day tripping around chasing lake trout. So the, the fish are probably done biting for the evening so i'm gonna head over to charlie's shack we're gonna fry up that lake trout it's gonna be some good eats and we're gonna hit the sheets after that so with that said we'll see you in the morning i think tomorrow's gonna be a really good day oh yeah All right, we got a little leftovers. So the dogs get to enjoy. Sit, sit. Wait, okay. Well, believe it or not, it's snowing again. I was out a little bit ago and it looks like we probably got about uh, one to two inches overnight and I'm not sure when it's supposed to stop today. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and get that tip up set out and I'm gonna fire up the hummingbird here pretty shortly and see if we can jig up some lake trout. I have a feeling today is gonna be a good day. So stay tuned for some good action. All right, we just hooked into one. Nice little one there, beauty. So that one had, uh, I was jigging about halfway down the water column and it came from about uh, three or four feet below the the tube jig and this is what I'm using right here basically you got the one main hook and then you got this little stinger hook that one happened to, to get both of them but what I'm doing out here is I am in I'm only in 20 feet of water right here so I'm jigging about uh, 
let's see oh right on bottom there so I'm, I'm jigging around 16 feet or so and uh i'll go up and down in the water column to try to uh attract those fish and so far they've been pretty aggressive that was the first one of the day no action on the tip up yet but i haven't been fishing that hard yet either so what uh we're planning on doing is waiting for this snow to stop out there because i could go out right now but with the snow the the dogs start to get wet and and that's no fun for them so we'll uh let the snow die down and then we're going to uh hop on the bike and go explore a few different areas so let's see if we can get some more peter are you happy you're always happy all right well it's right at 10 a.m right now and the only fish that I have seen on the hummingbird is the one that I caught earlier. So it's been a somewhat slow morning. The tip up hasn't gone up at all. And what we're going to do now is hop on the bike and go uh, hop around and try some different spots. Take a break from being in this tent. All right, let's see if we can find some. So we just got set up at this point. We're uh, camped over there, got Charlie walking over now. He must have saw me catch that fish. But I am currently in 28 feet of water and I got that tip up right over there in 18 feet. So that was some quick action right off the bat. Hopefully it continues. The wind is not bad out here and the snow is tapering off. Might even get a little bit of sun here after a while. Beautiful day out here. Dogs are having fun playing around pretty tough to beat this yeah I just had one hit mine too yeah there's lots of action over here yeah this is a decent spot cool he's angry you want to grab my inducer and suck in the oh water. yeah get that out of there Oh yeah. Look at this one. Fatty. Wow. So I just moved from that spot Charlie and I were at. He is about a third mile that way. And what I'm gonna do now is pop another hole a little further out. That's where I'll fish, but it's, uh, it's about lunchtime. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather up some firewood and make a little fire. It's a nice little tucked away spot back here by these boulders. So we got something, uh, oh, and look at all this good firewood. Excellent. Pete, don't pee on it though, buddy. No, we don't, we don't want to pee on the firewood. Can't have it tainting our lunch. All right, let's get started on this. wood is uh, a little a little rotten so we're gonna head down the shore here and see if we can find some better stuff <laughs> Pete and I are, uh, are on the same page here for sure this is uh, the spot that I saw on the way in that looked like we got some good wood here oh yeah and then uh, some good little fire starter there with those branches and then oh, to top it all off we have a dead paper birch tree right there that has some really good looking bark on it. So we will uh, we'll get our fire starter there 
and you want to find dead birch trees to get the bark off. You don't want to peel it off live trees because that can kill the tree. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get a nice little pile here. All right, that should be a good start. Baby. Whoa. There's a nice trout. Get that one back down the hole. Beautiful fish. All right, this is gonna be good. I got some chili dogs cooking up here. So I just uh, brought a can of beans and then a package of uh, jumbo hot dogs. Cause I knew we'd be working an appetite up out here. So uh, we just caught that lake trout a little bit ago. It got the, the Cisco that I had on there. So <clears throat> I, uh, I'm not fishing right now. The rest of the Cisco is I forgot back at the tent, but that's all right. Got that dog finishing up. And there's the finished product. Yum. This is going to be good. Mm-mm-mm. Yep. Pretty tough to beat a hot meal out on the ice. I think the old dogs will even get a little bit today. All right, well... Just had lunch, enjoyed the fire for uh, a little bit, and uh, the snow started. So I'm going to probably fish here for maybe 20 minutes or so, and then slowly but surely start making my way back towards camp. We got about three to three and a half hours of, of fishing left. What do you two think? Are you having fun? Okay, well, I think this is gonna be my second to last spot of the day. We have this sheer cliff that comes down. I am only about uh, 15 yards from it. And I'm guessing it's gonna be at least 30, 40 feet here. So we're gonna pop a hole and see if those big trout are chasing some bait fish in here. I think so. And it is turning out to be an absolutely beautiful afternoon. It's 2.30 right now. I'm back at the tent. That last spot was about 80 feet deep. And I didn't mark any fish. Hung out there for about a half hour and I uh, just wasn't feeling it. So I was in the, the tent. She's starting to slow down so she can relax, rest her old hips. And what Pete and I are gonna do is climb up 
to the top of this hill right here and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Should be some pretty nice shots of the lake from up there. A cool icicle formation. Well, we're getting up there. I just had to like crawl right up that. It <laughs> is pretty steep and unfortunately this is where uh, Pete and I might go our separate ways. He's right there. Might be just a little bit uh, much of a climb for him. So I'm just gonna head up this way a little bit and see if we can get to the summit. Well, we made it to the top. Wow, that's uh that's a hike up here. I'll have to measure it when I get home on Google Earth and get an idea of how many feet we climbed. Yeah, what a beautiful place. So there's there's my tent right there. Straight down. Well, if you can see that on here, Charlie and Steve are walking back out to uh, where he's fishing. I'm guessing he just went and put Roy in his tent like I did with Isla. Just like a couple little ants way down there. Pete sees him. Good boy. Well, welcome to the final morning. And what a beautiful one it is. It's 7.30 right now. You can still see the moon right there. The sun is going to be popping up over that horizon pretty, pretty shortly. I'm gonna throw a tip up out right there. I already got the hole drilled. And uh, jig up, try to jig up a lake trout in the house. The goal for the morning is to basically get packed up and catch a trout to bring home so we're uh doing pretty good it's been a fun trip i had a little bit of a scare this morning with the buddy heater i opened the door at 6 a.m and the heater stopped working so i don't know if that's just a coincidence with the airflow but it is uh the propane tank is super low right now and I don't know hopefully it lasts for a couple more hours before we uh we have to take off because it is cold out here once you lose that cloud cover that basically serves as a blanket out here I mean my, my hand that's holding the GoPro right now is freezing and I have I keep having issues with the GoPro stopping filming so um the cold is uh is tough on everything so we're gonna get that tip up out and throw a line down and see if we can get a trout to bring home okay so since it's uh <laughs> cloudless outside I have a little bit of service it's actually negative three degrees Fahrenheit right now I knew it felt cold out there but uh, yeah negative three is uh, yeah pretty serious let's just hope this buddy heater keeps going for the next uh, hour or so and then then we're out of here I got my pad packed up and the dogs are doing well, but oh boy, look how Pete, look how, look how tired Pete is. Well, there goes Charlie. So it's 1030 right now and the fishing's been tough. I've marked a total of three fish. I had one hit it for a second. 
one that chased it, and then one that didn't have anything to, to do with it. So I think I am probably going to pack up as well. It's it's going to be a five-hour drive back home, and yeah, I, it would be nice to bring a trout back. If I get real crazy, maybe I'll pop a hole on the way out and, and try one more spot. Well, everybody, that's a wrap for this trip. We're going to consolidate all the gear and get out of here. I gave it an honest uh, about two and a half hours of fishing this morning. I still have the tip up. So got that tip up set up. Something could happen in the next 15 minutes while I tear down camp. But again, if you're still with me at this point, thanks a lot for watching the video. And uh, there's a lot more adventures to come like this. So make sure to subscribe if you want to. All right, we'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> oh,